All right, let's go to Case Area 3's Jason Marks, who is standing by at the Sacramento County Registrar's Office, where he's been showing us the various parts of the operation there. And what you have for us now, Jason? Well, Golson, I can tell you the work continues, but here's something that's very unusual. All the 87 voting centers here in the county, they are all back here now. So all the ballots, either that were taken there from the home, the ones that were sent to your house, or the ones that you went and voted today, they're all back here now. And this is where the process is going. They say it's very unusual to have all 87 uh, what precincts essentially uh, report this early. So that might just because, be because of the low turnout. We're looking at here in the county, uh, from what I understand, about 22%. Compare that to the primary gubernatorial uh, primary that took place four years ago, 2018, we were at about 40%. Now remember, we have to take into account that there's still thousands and thousands of ballots that will be coming in over the next couple of days, but it's very unlikely here in Sac County that we're going to make up another 20% to get to where we were in 2018. So low turnout is the name of the game here today, apparently for this primary, but the work continues and will continue for the next several days. So just because all the ballots are back, this is where now it all starts. Now back to you. All right, thank you so much. All right, what do you say we check in with Case Area 3's Brittany Johnson? She's live for us in Stockton tonight where the ballot counting goes on. Brittany? That's right, and right now we have a 3.7% voter turnout here in San Joaquin County, and all of those ballots are coming here to Stockton to the central location warehouse where they're being processed and counted. So I know a lot of people ask, what happens to your ballot after you vote? Well, let me step out of the way and show you because you're looking at the process play out live. Now I'm going to walk you through how all of this works, how your ballots are being processed and counted tonight. Now, ballots are put into black boxes and dropped off here by the sheriff's office. Boxes are then scanned and open. After that, ballots go to an inspection station before finally being scanned and counted. Counting the ballots is going to take a little extra time in San Joaquin County. That's because a percentage of ballots have a blurry barcode. This means ballots will go through a duplicating process, which is nothing new. The duplicating process is also what happens, say, when someone comes in with a torn barcode or filled out their ballot with a pencil instead of a pen, for example. Now, here's more on how the duplication process works under election code. And what that means is we're actually printing the same exact ballot that the voter voted on and we're duplicating it exactly as the voter. So there's a duplication team of two people that duplicate that ballot. And then after it's been duplicated, it goes to a different team of two that then proofs it and makes sure that it's exactly as the voter intended. And then it gets to be scanned. Remember, tonight's election results that you're seeing are initial. Those numbers are going to change throughout the coming weeks because county election officials have until July 7th to, um, to certify this election. Reporting live tonight in Stockton, Brittany Johnson, KCRA 3 News.